I bid you, sisters and brothers, greetings and the green words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Now, um, so I'll just talk a little louder. We couldn't get the mic to work, but that's fine. The room is not so big. We'll just, you just talk a little louder. That's all. So um, I just wanted to start by, as you can see up here, a little bit about me. Uh, for the past 20 years, I've been working as a math teacher. Now, as a math student, I wasn't that good. All through school, high school, college, it was at towards the end of college before I realized something. That I couldn't, I didn't really understand what I was doing until I learned how to learn. When I learned how to learn, then I learned how to teach. And I think, I don't want to pat myself on the back too hard, but I think I'm a good math teacher now. Because I understand the problems that they had, because I have the same problems. Because there are some people who will say things like, um, I wasn't good at math, but you give me the formula, and I can work it. Hmm. But if all you had was a formula, that formula is not magic. It doesn't just magically work. There's a reason that it does. So when I teach, I try to teach what the formula is and how to develop the formula, then I teach them to put stuff in the formula. Hmm. To let them know it's not magic. This mathematics is not magic. So then there's things like um, if you want to multiply two fractions, easiest thing in the world is multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and you got the answer. But if you want to divide those two fractions, you got to do some things. It's something they'll call, uh, the cliche was called copy dot flip. You copy the first one, change the division to multiplication, which means the dot, and then flip the other one. Now that works. I ask the students, why does that work? I don't know. It just works. But it, it, it has to make sense. It works for a reason. Because when you put the first one, the inverse operation to a division is multiplication. The inverse, the opposite. So when you put the opposite operation there, you better invert that other one. So on by the same basis, it, like you have in English, a double negative. If I say, I don't never lie. If I say, I never lie, that makes sense. If I say, I don't lie, that makes sense. But when I say, I don't never lie, that's a double negative. That means I'm not telling you the truth. <laughs> so if I say I don't never steal, hide your purse. <laughs> but it has to make sense. Because that's based on a principle. Now, when uh, so a student might ask me something about percent, I don't understand percent. The first thing I do is ask them about the English. Before I teach math, I teach the English. I say, what does the word mean? Well, it means a part of something. Yeah, that's what it is, but what does the word mean? What does per cent mean? You have per cent. I broke it, it down, per and cent. Now, if I have one teacher per every 20 students, you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. One teacher per every 20 students. That's a fraction, which is division. One divided by 20. One per 20. If I said there's three fire hydrants for every seven houses on my block, that's three per seven. Three divided by seven. Then what is per? Did you Come on. English? <laughs> three per seven. Three divided by seven. What is per? Divided by. Cent. How many cent in a dollar? How many years in a cent, Cherie? What does cent mean? A hundred. So per cent means divided by a hundred. That's it. So when I say 15%, that's 15 divided by 100. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. If I reduce that fraction, it goes down. I'm not here to teach a whole math class. I'm just letting you know. It reduces down to three twins, but three twins is still 15%. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, divide it, because that's a division problem. Divide it. <clears throat> three divided by 20 is 0.15, which is 15%. See, when I was coming up, I went to church, I went to a very church. My mother said, as long as you go to somebody's church, you know, you're going somewhere. But they didn't make sense. So by the time I got to high school, especially college, I quit going to church because it didn't make sense. Because they wanted to make sure everything was like magic. Hmm. But I just want to tell you something here. I've gone too far. 
Math is not magic. It's got to make sense. But by the same token, we're taught that Islam is mathematics. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's got to make sense. So when you learn in religion, if it doesn't make sense, something's wrong with it. Or something's wrong with the teaching or the understanding. Something's wrong if it doesn't make sense. So I want to point out a few things, and I'm going to start out easy. I'm going to start out slow, and then I'll work it up. Just so few, because I don't have time to go through everything. Let's see if I can... Let's start with, why do we point up and look up when we talk about God? The man upstairs. He's not the highest. Break it down. Yeah, but they didn't tell us that. Break it down. They always have us pushing up and looking up and everything else. But that doesn't make sense. But if you understand that God is at a higher plane than us, mm -hmm. He is at a higher level. And we are also taught that you have to rise above emotion to get into the thinking of God. So that's why we're looking up. That's right. Say it again. Mm -hmm. But we don't, we don't understand that. Now, Moving on. Why did they tell us we're going to sprout wings go flying up in the sky at one point in our, not in our life, in our death? Why do we need wings anyway? Right. Come on. That's what I'm talking well, about. we need wings to fly out on these clouds they're supposed to be, we're supposed to be on. Now something just didn't make sense. No trees, no mountains, none of that. We're going to be living on some clouds. And, uh, yeah, we have wings, we can fly up on the clouds, but what are these streets paved, paved with gold? How are they going to sit up on the clouds? Right. And why do I need a street paved with gold? I don't need to be walking on gold. I would like to have that gold in my pocket right now. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah. like brother brothers say, I want to be in Africa with money. I'm just like, yeah. Yes, you yes, want to have that now so you can have a little bit of that heaven. Yes, sir. And also, I thought about that one right there. Why is there a fence around heaven? Huh. Right. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Some things that don't make sense. You got a fence around heaven. Okay. Now, so, well, that doesn't make sense. But one thing about it, we are taught that black man... Your heaven is right there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, sure. That's, That's right. right. You can find that heaven in a good black woman. Yes, sure. That's, That's right. right. That's right. So yeah. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now, they also told us, uh, a preacher told me one time, at least I heard a preacher say one time, there'll be no sadness in heaven. Mm -hmm. So to give us a picture, everybody happy. Now, it's a shame that if you, if you die as a child, you never grow up. You die as a middle-aged person, that's, that's where you go. If you die as an old person, you're going to be old for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Some things just don't make sense. <laughs> and there's no sadness in heaven. That's right. That doesn't make sense. What, I love my mother. I love her dearly. She passed a few years ago. What if I make it to heaven and I find out my mother didn't make it? Mm -hmm. I won't be sad? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Right. Something wrong with that. Yes, sir. Right, right. Probably more the case. What if she makes it and I don't? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be sad. What if uh, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, nobody made it but me? And I'm not going to be sad? Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with the way we're being taught. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Some things just don't make sense. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes, yes. Now, also, in the Christianity that we're taught by our Caucasian, you know, but people, yeah, we have black preachers teaching, but they got it from the Caucasian. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, even the doctrine of Jesus and how it was taught was done by uh, uh, in the in the, uh, the uh, Council of Nicaea. Mm -hmm. They where well, they determined this is how we're going to teach about Jesus and about the religion, and they came up with the Nicene Creed that tells you this is how we're going to believe. So when Honorable Elijah Muhammad put in the book, The Message of the Black Man, that Christianity is a white man's made up religion, it is right. They made it up. They said, we're going to figure out, we're going to teach it like this. 
Now they teach us also about uh, an Adam and Eve, the first people. In every picture you find, the picture happens to be looking like that. Something's wrong with that. Because the scripture says, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell all the face of the earth. So from one blood came all people. But when Gregor Mendo did some experiments, he proved that there's a law of dominant and recessive. Mm -hmm. yes, Dark skin is dominant. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Dark hair is dominant. Dark mm -hmm. eyes are dominant. Mm -hmm. Light skin, light hair, light eyes are recessive. You can get the recessive from the dominant, but you really? cannot get the dominant from the recessive. Right. So if he was first, where the dark people come from? Come on. Something that makes sense. Oh, come on. So the only way that makes sense is the way we are taught. In our lessons, in the student enrollment, we ask, who is the original man? And we answer, the original man is the Asiatic black man. Original means first. Come on, come on. The first on the planet was black people. Mm -hmm. Couldn't be any other way. Also, this, what the, the uh, Bible is speaking of, the timeline is 6,000 years. Mm -hmm. But we're digging up people, there. I'm not digging them, but they're digging up people millions of years old. <laughs> yes, sir. This fellow is 6,000 6, years old. That's right. And he wants to believe he was first? Something's wrong with that. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. Right. Think about it. He's 6,000 years old. Mm -hmm. Lucy was 5 million years old. Go ahead. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> Something's wrong. There's a problem here. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, and also one thing I thought was kind of funny, I put it in the one in the middle. Here you got Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and Jesus chilling with them and the tiger. So, <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> now, I know we're taught that Jesus was there from the beginning and, you know, and all that kind of stuff, but Jesus came 4,000 years later. Mm, that's right. And we know that's not the Jesus. But, you know, I mean, that's their image. But what I thought was kind of strange was Adam and Eve were naked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus got clothes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Now, they didn't fall from grace. They didn't start putting on clothes until they fell from grace. But Jesus got clothes on. I just thought that was kind of strange, but you know. <laughs> now, let's go a little past this now. Adam and Eve in the garden, right? They fell from grace, started having children. They had Cain and Abel. Cain killed Abel. Cain's banished. And Cain goes somewhere. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod, east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife. And she conceived and bore and bare Enoch and the rest. There's Adam, Eve, Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. Cain killed Abel. Mm -hmm. He went somewhere else and found a wife. All right, bring it. So something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong with the teaching. Mm -hmm. And you know what I mean by Cain knew his wife. Y'all know what that means, right? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> he had sexual relations with his wife and she conceived. Okay, now, but um, something I want to go back. Oh, so when we look at this picture, that's really correct. That Adam and Eve in the Bible was Caucasian people. It was the beginning of the Caucasian race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Six thousand years ago. Yes, You're not digging up bones of people millions of years old and find out it's Caucasian. And they're not. Mm -hmm. Their bones are in the caves six thousand years ago. So that is correct, except for chilling with Jesus in the tiger. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> make sure where I am here. You want to hear about Abel. Now, oh, I know what I was going to say. Now, if he went and found somebody, mm -hmm. that means there must have been somebody on the earth before they were. That's right. Oh, That's right. what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was somebody there. Mm -hmm. So, I don't have time to go through everything, you know, because, but go and look up pre Adamites. Yes, sir. Pre go look it up. That's your homework. Pre-Adamites are the Adamic race. You can look it up.
it up, you can find information on that. Now, because you can't go back and find the beginning of, of black people. Because when we ask in our lessons um, about the birth record of the said nation of Islam, basically asking the birth record of black people, it says you cannot find that birth record. Time has wiped it out. Because when you've been here trillions of years, you're not going to go uh, dig up bones that old. You cannot find the beginning of black people. So they'll say we always was, always will be. All right. There was a beginning, mm -hmm. but you can't find it. Mm -hmm. right, right, because right. time has wiped it out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Now, so God said, let us make man in our image. See that us in our? Mm -hmm. There were some other people during that time when Adam and Eve was made, not, not created. That was a man that was made, and there was an us and an our. That means there was somebody helping God do it. There was people on the earth at that time. So when the white man was made, there was already people here. Mm -hmm. And also, when that word man, remember that word man can be singular or plural. Mm -hmm. So he didn't make a man, like one guy, he just made Adam, bam, he made him, no. Because it says, and let them. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of them. <laughs> That's right. That man is yes, plural. Sir. It is the Caucasian man. That was his making. And well, how did he how did he get to the point where he's running everything? Our and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and the fowl of the air, over the cattle and everything, all that, because we gave it to him. Uh, That's how they got power. We gave it to him. And there was a reason for that. I don't have time to get into that now. Different day, different lecture. We'll get to it. But we gave him for just for knowing now, we gave them that power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Now, let's go to Noah now. I'm just building up on it now. Oh. Noah. You know about Noah and the flood, and it rained and it covered the whole earth? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Because this, how does this work? You have the, the water that's on the earth. It evaporates, evaporation. Mm -hmm. Then it condenses into clouds, condensation. Then precipitation, mm -hmm. that's how it works. It comes down in rain, snow, hail, sleet. It comes down like that. Mm -hmm. But you can't have more in the clouds than you have on the earth uh -huh. because that's where it comes from and rains back down. Yeah. Now, if it rains, it covers the whole earth. Something doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Where did all that water come from? Right, right. All right. Because yeah. right there in Colorado Springs, you got Pikes Peak. Good question. Pikes Peak yeah. is like two miles high. Yeah. Yeah. That means you got to have the old whole earth at least two miles deep of water. Mm -hmm. But Mount Everest, 29,000, over 29,000 feet. That's five and a half miles. All right. You got to have six miles of water mm -hmm. deep all over the earth. Where's that water coming from? Because yeah. mm -hmm. it's got to come from the earth to fall back down on the earth. It doesn't make sense. All right, now. Something's wrong with that. And where does it recede to? That's right. You got six miles of water. You got a planet number of water. Where's it going? Right. <laughs> when you have a flood, it's going to find a lower area to recede to. Mm -hmm. But if it's all over the earth, it can't go nowhere. Yep. Something is wrong. It doesn't make sense. Uh -huh. So when you, people leave the church, it's said because it's not making sense. That's why a lot of people don't like religion, because a lot of it doesn't make sense. But the, what makes sense is this. There's a, a destruction that's going to happen. Noah was to build an ark. We focused on the flood, but the focus should be on the ark. All right, now. The ark was a sanctuary. That's where he brought all the animals on and saved them from the destruction. What is that ark? You wonder why that uh, they say, well, why is the nation of Islam trying to build hospitals when we already have hospitals? Why are they building supermarkets when we already have supermarkets? Why are they buying farmlands when we can go buy our food in the, in, the, in the stores? Because if that falls and is destroyed, we better have some kind of safety, some kind of sanctuary that we have. The nation of Islam is that ark. 
need to come on to the ark yes. before it floods and destroys everything else. Because there's going to be a time when everything's going to fall. Mm -hmm. You can see this country's falling right now. That's right. Mm -hmm. And right now, if the white man closed all his stores, black folks would starve to death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, a little more. Now, Solomon Gomorrah. I heard a preacher on TV one time many, many years ago. He was trying to determine because I guess what he was saying was they couldn't determine why God destroyed those cities. Mm -hmm. So he, so he's, he's trying to interpret. That's his interpretation. Mm -hmm. And he, the best thing he could do was he said uh, that because the people of the city were rude to the angels, God, <laughs> that's what he said. That was his word, that God destroyed the cities because the people were rude. Now that doesn't make sense. Otherwise, the whole earth would be destroyed, burned up. So that's what it is. Now he is a, a, an evangelist, a preacher. And I'm, I'm thinking like this. If you don't want to preach against something, maybe you're guilty of it. So what was really going on in Sodom and Gomorrah? All right. Now, <clears throat> and there were two angels. Uh, there came two angels to Solomon at even, at evening. And Lot sat at the gate of Solomon, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself to, to face towards the ground. He prostrated. But before they lay down, before they went to sleep that night, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, come past the house, surrounded. Both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot. Now, this preacher couldn't figure out why. Now, the Holy Quran is more explicit. We but it's right here in the Bible. No this is more. King James. Mm. Y'all know King James, right? Yes. 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 He's guilty of some of this. And they came unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men that came to, <coughs> to thee this night? Bring them out unto us that we may know them. Now, <coughs> remember I asked you about this? Mm -hmm. Cain knew his Cain, wife. Cain, hey, hey. Cain knew his wife. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. When they want to go out, no. bring these men out, because we want to know them. Mm -hmm. Do we have to explain that? Right, right. And there came unto Lot, and they came unto Lot, and said unto him, Lot. Down. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Down. Lot. Down. Down. Well, the men that you saw, you saw come in here, we want to have sex with them. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now, I shouldn't joke like that, because, you know, That's good. because oh, this oh, Satan oh, of the world, oh, oh, oh has put yeah. chemicals in your water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of us think we're born that way, if anybody's afflicted with that. We're not born that way. Well, some mm -hmm. of us are born that way, but that's not God's doing. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's, that's right. Satan's doing. Yes, sir. Right. They put chemicals in the water, mm -hmm. chemicals in the food. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They put chemicals in your weed, in your, uh, in your wine. Mm -hmm. They put chemicals in your, in, in, uh, your medicines. In, even in the birth control, they put chemicals in there that, that takes men and, ha and it causes them to have an estrogen overload. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Speak that truth. Speak Which that. means they start acting real feminine. Right. right. Mm -hmm. yep. And that estrogen overload in the, in the female causes the testosterone to try to keep up. And the testosterone, the male hormone, causes women to start acting kind of hard. Come on, come on. Right. Kind of hard. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And it just hits the script. And you wonder why there's so much homosexuality today when God destroyed two cities behind that. Come on, mm -hmm. Come on with it. Wow. Satan is working on us. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. No doubt. So we love our gay brothers and sisters. We love them. We don't love that lifestyle. No. Mm -hmm. But we love them because we know there's something that turned in that way. Yes, sir. Oh. But they got to understand because the white man is very active in his movies. And in his sitcoms and his uh, everything, his show commercials right. and everything yeah. else, right. to show you that it's okay yeah. to be gay. Yeah. Right. They, they put it Speak all true. Over. 
So they're working on your body with the chemicals, and they're working on your mind with all the stuff they're putting on the tell a lie to your vision. Tell a lie to your vision. Yes, sir. that in. Yes, sir. Say it again, Pastor. Say it again, Pastor. Yep. Telling the truth. Telling the truth. So, let's see, am I ready to see? Oh, and one we are. Because there's some strange things going on here that something didn't make sense. <clears throat> a lot went out to the door and shut it behind him. Went, shut the door and said, hey, chill, y'all. He said, I pray you, brethren, do uh, not Get so wickedly. Hold now, I have two daughters me. which have not known man, two virgin daughters. Mm -hmm. And you know, they were married around 15 back then. So that, you're talking about teenagers. Right, right, right. I have two virgin daughters. Let me, I pray you, bring them out to you, and ye do uh, to I them so as is good to your eyes. So you're going to bring your daughters out to these freaks and say, do whatever you want to do to my daughters. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I don't interpret the Bible. That's not my job. Yeah. I don't have that ability. <clears throat> but if I may say this, I just don't believe that any man would do that to his daughters. Mm -hmm. that's right. mm -hmm. I believe that's in the scripture just to tell us something. <laughs> just to tell us something. All right, bring it. He said, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you have my daughters. They wow. say, we don't want your daughters. I'm going to look up now and say, God forgive me for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> he said, only under these men do nothing. So he's telling, he, he, he's showing right here. This was the attitude and the behavior of the men of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. God does not like that. Mm -hmm. But I, like I said, but the God that came to us came to save our people, not to condemn them. Mm -hmm. So we are here to save our brothers and sisters who are in that condition. But don't get mad at me if I, if I don't go along with it. Oh, I can't go along right. with it. Right. I love you. But I don't love that lifestyle. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on with it. Now, let's move on. Oh, yeah, I've got to move faster. I don't know if you've seen this movie, you know this scene. Yes. That's, that's Moses, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Charlton Heston. And you were Brandon, the coolest guy in the whole movie, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just cool. I just like it. Yeah. But see, all these are Africans. They don't look like <laughs> <them. laughs> <laughs> This is the scene when uh, Moses came and he had Aaron cast down the rod, and the rod turned to a serpent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So that's that. That's that thing. So uh, let's see what happened here. And Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh, and they did as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh, and both his servants, um, both and be before his servants, and it became a serpent. Now, this is what God told Moses to do. Yeah. Show my power by casting up that rod down, and it'll turn into a serpent. God said, that's my power. I'm going to show him my power. Mm -hmm. Really? Then God looks like a punk now, because look. Then Pharaoh called the wise men and the sorcerers and magicians of Egypt, and they also did like manner with their enchanters, enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, this is God's power. I'm going to show you my power. Look, it's turned to a snake. Pharaoh came through here and said, look, I did the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Ta-da. Come on now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Same thing. So, but what does it mean? So that don't make sense. That that's God's power, but yet Pharaoh can do it? Mm -hmm. uh, right. There you go. Something doesn't make sense here. Mm -hmm. Break that part down. And it says here, and Aaron's rod swallowed up their rod. It didn't say Aaron's snake. It's a serpent. It said his rod. His rod. So what is that rod then? Mm -hmm. The fact that the rod turned to a serpent, that's not the, the thing. Mm -hmm. That rod was the law of God that was thrown down at the foot of Pharaoh. Here you go. The, the law Amen. of God. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh said, no, here's my, here's my law, uh, law right here. Bam. Mm -hmm. He threw his law down. And Aaron's rod ate up theirs. The law of God ate up theirs. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The fact that a stick turned to a snake does not make sense. Mm -hmm. That does not happen. But that makes sense. That is the law of God. Now, I'm a, this is the last one here. Okay. Mary and Joseph and the birth of Jesus. Jesus was espoused to Mary. So the scripture says, <coughs> Mary becomes pregnant. Your brother Herman.
Harmon Supreme Style Muhammad. Just wanted to drop in and let you know what we have going on. In addition to our community work um, that we've been doing for years, and in addition to being the sole proprietor of Supreme Style Barbershop, where we've been serving the community for close to 25 years, now we've partnered up um, with an insurance company called Ethos in an effort to help our people uh, with life insurance. That's something that we all need. I know it's something that we don't want to think about, but it is something that we all need if we want to leave anything to our loved ones when we leave this space. So do me a favor, click on the link or go to our website, astar2.com and click on the ethos page. We'll see you on the other side.